So here's my top pick of the hydroponic products that I've used in 22 and that I've really liked. To give you a little bit of backstory, I've been running AB test pails for just about this entire year to find out what is the best hydroponic nutrients and it's also included a whole bunch of different uh, mycorrhizae, bacillus, subtilis and uh, forgetting, the, <laughs> forgetting the last one here, whatever, bunch of different bacteria products that I've tried as well. So uh, here's kind of what I found is the best. Now I've taken and documented the entire process throughout the entire year. As you can see here, there is a camera pointed directly at a grow and this is so that I can capture absolutely everything and you guys can be the judge of what do you think is the best grow result. Now as you can see from some of the plants that I have going in my grows, that by the way is a three five gallon pills by three five gallon pills. So there's a total of nine five gallon pills there and that is one single kohlrabi plant. So this is all paying off for me in a big way and uh, making my grow better. But anyway, on to it. So product number one, I'm gonna list this one first First, and it's just because I think it's the most underrated product that I've found so far. A two-part dry nutrient mix, Floraflex, and I got great results off of it. Cost-wise, it was cheap, and if the grow is good and the cost is cheap, that's really good. Plus, it's dry, which means the mix ratio is going to be a lot higher than the pre-mixed wet nutrients. The second product that I really like, and that's actually what I'm using in the uh, grow that you see behind us there, is the Master Blend three-part series. This is another dry nutrient, mixes up really well, is completely completely dissolved and as you can see I've had seriously good success with this stuff. This kale plant that you see behind me, I have cut this thing off right at the base. I can't tell you how many times and it just keeps performing. Right now it's almost due for another chop off and uh, as you can see on the side, the new plants from the old rootstock are already taking over. So that's my two nutrient finds for this year and uh, I think either one of those products, if you uh, decide to get your own hydroponic grow going, you can't really go wrong with either of them. As far as the bacteria and fungus products, uh, there's one that really surprised me this last year that just came out of nowhere. The Extreme Gardening Mycos, I had never heard of this product at all anywhere and this product blew me away. Germination results are the best using this than anything else I've touched so far, plus the uh, quality of the plant. Uh, I was impressed. If you want to see any of these results for yourself, I will leave links to the tests of the uh, pails that I ran there and you guys can kind of see for yourself kind of how they performed. So anybody that's followed this channel for any length of time will know that I'm a fan of Great White. It's not on this list because I'm kind of trying to keep this as to products that I found in 2022. It is still my favorite go-to and I do use it all the time, however, uh, there is a product that's not great white, but it's made by the same company, and that product is Orca. Now, Orca is specifically designed for hydroponics, and uh, that definitely works out well for me, because all of these uh, Dutch buckets that you see behind me, they are all hydroponics into a reservoir, and uh, that is definitely something that I use and have great success with, with them. One thing that kind of did surprise me about the Orca is the Orca kind of seemed to almost get the plants to get roots off of the side, so I still need to do further testing with that one, but uh, that's gonna come up in 2023. In my opinion, either of those three products are interchangeable, they all work for hydroponics, they all work for soil, and you're gonna be happy with all of them. If you are going with soil though, uh, steer away from the Orca, maybe go a little bit more to the Great White because it's gonna be a little bit more economical. If you're new and you're starting out with hydroponics in 2022, you're not gonna go wrong with either one of these nutrients, and you're not gonna go wrong with any of these products for your living reservoir. I stand by them, I've had great success with them. Let me know what you think of my list down below. The AB Grow Pails that you see in the back there, we're gonna keep right on testing with those. Plus we're also gonna continue with some new testing. I also wanna set up kinda like an AB comparison for soil and trying all these microbes and different nutrients that I've got throughout the year to see kinda how they perform in soil as well because this will also let me use it in my garden. Do you hear the click? That's that guy documenting the time lapse on that girl. As you can see, this room is a busy room. There's always something going on in here.